Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, my name is John Paul Carlo. I'm in the M&E Technical Specialist for South Europe, Autodesk. And today guys, I'm going to show you a little bit how to make a nuke type of bomb using Bifrost Aero. So this is uh, an, ex uh, an example I have here in the Play Blast, so you can see what we're going to be doing. So, boom. That's pretty much it. That's the effect. So, as you can see, obviously, this is just the particles and this will have to be converted into voxels. Uh, so that's something that we're going to be covering on a separate movie, right? Because I don't want this to be too long. So anyway, just let's get started with this and let me show you how this is done. So here we are, new scene. So the first thing I'm going to do is just create a plane. That's my plane there, right? And now I'm going to create a torus. And I'm going to make my torus a little bit bigger for the moment. Something like so. That should be enough. Okay. Uh, I'm going to give it a little bit more detail in the subdivision um, axis and subdivision height. All right. So this is what I have now. So what I want to do now is just to go to my animation uh, menu, go to deform and I'm going to apply a texture deformer. And that texture deformer you want to make sure is set up to UVs and instead of the direction instead of being handled it's going to be normal. And on the texture I'm going to get a file note, actually sorry, I'm going to be doing a noise on this one. So as you can see um, I get the noise there. So next thing is just to do a time animation, right? Um, in this case, it's gonna be um, like this. So I'm just gonna do equals, it's gonna be an expression time, and that's it. So if I hit play, you see that's what's soon, right? So, but what I want is, I want this to go a little bit faster. So I'm just gonna multiply that by four. All right, and there you go. That's what I have. Um, one more thing, um, I want to change this to purling noise, and I'm gonna do the inflection thingy. And now I'm gonna put, I'm gonna do an implosion like this. So I'm gonna go like that. So again, it's gonna be a equals time. So now you can see. That's what I get. Crazy local. Okay, so now going back to my texture deformer, I can I can animate the offset like that, right? So that that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna animate that offset, just like this, to create my explosion. That's the effect that I want. So I'm gonna go. Um, see the way I, I change the offset, right? So now I'm gonna just set a key here. I'm gonna go to frame 15 and I'm going to go all the way up till there. All right, maybe a little bit more, something like that. I'm gonna set another key. And then from 15 to 20, I'm gonna go back to that, set another key. So now I have that, like, boom. Pretty much that. So now just for, it's not heavy at all, but I think it's a lot safer if you just basically do an Alembic cache. So I'm just gonna uh, export the selection to Alembic. And I want to do a start, and I wanna do a start end, but this time I wanna do, I think I only need for this, I'll give it 30. I don't need more than that, so I'm just going to do export selection. And it's going to ask me for a name, I'm going to call these doors, noise displacement, this is my version 02, so I already did one, so I'm going to export the selection. But I did all of it, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so now I can delete this, and I'm going to bring it back through Alembic. So import Alembic, version 2, import, and now I have my guy there, pretty much. Uh, so. Now all I need to do is just grab it, right? I'm gonna go to the effects menu, Bifrost fluid, 
and I'm going to undock that one and I'm going to do an error simulation. Right? So now well, I need I can hide pretty much the the error. Right? But before I do, I also want to scale it up. So I wanna come to my scale, set key, set key, set key. And I go back. I'm going from one to frame fifteen, and I'm gonna make it big like that, big explosion. And then I'm going to set another key, set another key, set another key. And then frame twenty, I'm gonna reduce it almost to zero in this case. Zero, zero, zero. Set key, set key, set key. So that's that's what I got to create my explosion. This here. Doom. Okay, okay, that sounds good. That's that looks good. Okay, so next step, I need next thing I need to do is just to for a moment I'm gonna disable my container. So I'm gonna go back and I want to take my Taurus. Right, and I want to animate the emission, the continuous emission. So I'm going to go to frame 19, then I'm going to set a key there, then I'm going to go to frame 20, I'm going to uncheck that, and I'm going to set another key. So that will give me that, um, it's going to stop uh, the animation pretty much there. Okay, so. Let's continue. So now I'm gonna go back, enable this guy, and I'm gonna select this guy, select the plane, and I'm gonna make the plane a collider. Now I'm gonna hit back, and now I think I can do this scratch cache just to see how it looks, All right? So I'm gonna cache this. So I'm going to pause the video and I'll be back when this stuff is fully cached. Alright guys, uh, so, um, so you can see that um, cache already finished uh, and here are the result. As you can see, uh, it's pretty much more like a kind of a, not really a nuke because it's going too fast but obviously you can control that using motion fills like drags, etc, etc. So this is going to be it for today. If you really want to see more of this explosion, how to get a shade and how to finish, finish it up, please like this video and leave a comment if you have any suggestions and I, I will really take them into consideration for later videos. So again, if you like what you saw, please like my video and thank you very much. Until the next one.